Anurban, you believe that in order to understand consciousness, you really need to understand all of the components, the resonances of the components of, that make us up from the smallest element to, to the largest element in their relationship to, to, to the universal resonances. Uh, if that's true, I'm not saying I believe it, I'm saying that if, if you, what can you say about what things are conscious? Are we dealing with only human beings? Do we deal with uh, animals? At what level? And how far down do you go? So basically, when we consider that um, a life form, whatever it is, is made of vibrations, and it is all about rhythms and cycles, or a composition of music, then we, we have only two parameters to consider. Is that from what frequency it composes the music and where it ends. So the smallest frequency to the largest mm -hmm. frequency. And how many different, what is the density of frequencies? How dense are those peaks? So how accurate is the symphony? How densely related frequencies are in the music? So we do not see then what is the life form. So that means this tree and uh, you are no different to me. It's just kind of vibrations, you are just kind of vibration, the tea is kind of vibration, and then this soil is kind of a vibration, this uh, grass is kind of a vibration, so that is that is all to me. So I just check what is the length of the vibrations, um, minimum and maximum frequency, and what is the density of vibrations. But I also believe that everything cannot be said conscious. Of course, when a particular string crosses a threshold value, threshold value means enter universe, we can, we can consider the entire universe as string of vibrations starting from the Planck scale to the, to the end part of the universe. Now, uh, some of the objects, say we are an object and we have set of vibrations. If length of my string and density of my string is beyond, I say, 30% uh, uh, or 40% of the entire band of the universe. Entire band. Of the universe. Entire band of the universe. In the length of that, is more than 30 or 40 percent, then we can mirror the entire universe into it. So, ultimate objective is to mirror it. That means if I have a global picture, I have an entire picture, and I have a small, say, a stamp, if that, if that whole picture could be compressed into that stamp to create a mirror, then that object would be conscious. So, I have an entire vibration of the entire universe, and I myself, or any, say, an elephant, or a crocodile or, or an ant, yeah. what, is, what is its length of um, vibrations? I mean, minimum and maximum frequency and the, and the chain wavelength. So well, but in, in that sense, uh, other animals, elephants or ants, uh, uh, th they're composed of the same kinds of proteins uh, th that create resonances. So why would there be a big difference between different uh, creatures uh, in terms of their band of mm. resonances? Because we're just dealing with biological elements. Mm. You look very different from elephant. Why? Right. So when you try to see it in terms of vibrations, of course, there are some cycles or some rhythms which are very specific to you. So that's why I said a set of vibrations, a set of vibrations or rhythms or cycles that is very, very highly dense and that composes and that harmonizes with the, with the bigger string of the universe. So. So my definition of a higher species is that this higher species, which contains a, contains a very enriched string, can harmonize with the bigger or ultimate vibrational uh, string uh, much more, much better than others. So, But, but how does a human uh, uh, organism do better at that than, than an elephant? What is it about our physical brains or, or body? Uh, our, body is smaller than an elephant, our brains are smaller than an elephant, maybe we have more dense neurons or different kinds of neurons, but what is it about us that, that would have a bigger uh, uh, range of vibrations? If we, try to, if we try to understand, I know you are drawing me to a very, very debatable argument that has been in the scientific community for a long period of time, because um, simpanji and cow they have same number of neurons and, sim and uh, similar size of neurons, yeah. the density of neurons. So that's why I say that if you, if you, if you go just look at the number of neurons, yeah, density yeah. of neurons, right. which is conventional science believes right. that is the, 
that is that represents a degree of right, uh, right, intelligence right, right, and right, consciousness right, right, right. then you will be at a loss yeah. you can you can you can never never get get okay. out of it that's why i said the rhythms and the how your body is structured to harmonize with the rhythms that means you can respond with the circadian rhythms much better than an elephant does so and that makes me smarter because i can respond with circadian yes. rhythms better you can you can respond with the natural rhythms much better because you are organized to do that so when you harmonize with the with the natural rhythms or the nature's rhythms much better then you are more suited you will be evolving much better and much more so you can sense the environment much better like intuition well, what you is it about no... humans that enables us to do that yeah so it is the construction it is the integration it is the symmetry that's why i always say that symmetry is the key element to understand anything in this universe mm. not as not because i am a physicist yeah. just because because any single rhythm is generated by symmetry and it it starts growing for an example i have grown from a single cell right there was only one dna and yeah. it took the materials into yeah. it yeah. many many materials from yeah. the environment and it put it in, in inside it and is constructing yeah. and as i said every single part of our body is continuously getting reconstructed right. two years before you were not the same person your dna was kind of similar but all your atoms are replaced from yeah. from some elements from the from the nature right. how it is happening who is doing it it is the composition of rhythm and these rhythms are born out of other rhythms for an example there was only one dna when you was you was at a single cell level in your in your mother's womb right and that that kind of symmetry which was there that that enlarged that composed and supercomposed and composed and composed so from one set of rhythms other set of rhythms are born that ability is encoded in the genetic composition itself so that 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 enlarges so that enables us so we can you cannot find it in my hand in my brain in my ear yeah. no it is the kind of cycles that is that is going on so for an example your circadian rhythms your heartbeat it's a it's a it's a composition of many many waveforms they work to, together to to create a kind of vibration it has many many different rhythms and, and oscillations but where does consciousness come into this because all of those rhythms can just define normal biological processes mm -hmm. your your question is very similar to the question uh, that if i cut your body uh, and replace um, okay. uh, a particle apart i don't find it yeah. i can take out one of your neurons yeah. your brain is damaged i don't find it yeah. you can, you will never find it that's what i'm i'm talking about when we talk about the rhythm and how your rhythms harmonizes with the universe then that synchronization is not happening inside you it's happening you and with the with the universe so how can you find it inside the body when you try to search it and try to find it inside your body that question is itself wrong so you cannot find it it's just like asking mm, where is where is the memory you cut one neuron out and you don't see it right you, you a particular part of the brain is damaged if half half part of your brain is taken out within within couple of years it can happen that all your sensory part creates a replica in the left part right, right. and it starts operating yeah. so where were you yeah. half part of the brain is gone there are some people who are living uh, even now sure. who doesn't doesn't have the all the cortex part yeah. so where is it so the rhythm is the element all the elements together and that rhythm when i talk about rhythms i don't need to see you how you look like how your rhythm cycles look like so those are kind of vibrations that are, that are there we can measure it it's not that we cannot measure we can put the electrodes and we can measure the eeg rhythms eeg rhythms when you try to concentrate on others is very very different for every single person the kind of way you are processing so every rhythm are, are different